Welcome back to Ship It's introductory video series. I'm Pornima Vijay Shankar, the founder of Femgeneer. Today, you're going to get a chance to meet one of our former students, Maria Brandt. Maria was previously a senior manager at PayPal and Google. In 2016, she came up with an idea to make corporate planning easier. Even though Maria knew how to build products, she felt stuck and wasn't sure how to attract paying customers, recruit teammates, and successfully ship her product. So in today's video lesson, you're going to learn from Maria what were the barriers she had, how she got unstuck, and how the Ship It course helped her out. Thanks so much for joining us, Maria. Thanks so much, Maria. Nice to be here. Yeah. So why don't we start with your background? Did you have any parents or family members who were entrepreneurs that inspired you? Uh, no, I didn't have any family that was entrepreneurs. And in my previous job, I did analytical work. So what made you come up with this idea? Well, I actually had to do events for my team. Okay. And I realized how hard it was to be able to understand where to bring the group and what I could afford. And I started to see the complexity of the logistics process. And then also a volunteer in many organizations also doing events. And the problem kept happening many times. And I realized, well, this is a great opportunity to fix it. I mean, this problem is big and it really needed, uh, we could use some analytics yeah. and systems expertise to make a much better product. So what made you decide to strike out on your own and pursue this idea aside from the opportunity? I, I hope you thought about it, mm -hmm. uh, starting my own company. I definitely wanted to create a great product and I could see the opportunity to create a new wave of marketplaces. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all just very interesting. You know, my interest came from different perspectives. Tell us where you were before you started the course. Okay, so I had started a previous idea, which was something a little bit different. Uh -huh. And I had taken some online classes. I have read great books, did my interviews, and I saw I had it all figured out, put a lot of money and develop a product that nobody was using. Okay. And I required a lot of money and a lot of effort to be able to just get it fit a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that I really needed help. Okay, so you had another product before that you had already sort of gone down, invested money in, and thought that it was going to take off, and it didn't. And then you decided to switch gears and pursue this idea instead. Exactly. I know you mentioned taking some other courses in entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship. Why then did you decide to take Ship It? Well, I, it was very interesting. I think this came after I sent you an email yeah. uh, to inquire a little bit more about the program. I was trying to understand, will you guys really help me? Mm -hmm. And uh, you answer really looking at the details and really pushing me to even improve my pitch. And then I realized, okay, this can really help me to improve the execution, mm -hmm. not just be on a theoretical level, but actually work one-on-one, -on -one, whatever we need to get done to make the product successful. Great. And what were some goals that you had that you felt like you couldn't accomplish on your own? Well, getting um, the, light, the right uh, product launch mm -hmm. um, map, getting the right uh, fit, customer fit, mm -hmm. uh, it seems very simple. <laughs> they said, okay, well, you dedicate, you get your interviews, and you do a lot of analysis, and that's my expertise. Right. Uh, but yet, uh, once you have all that data, just trying to figure it out, what, you should, what should we really be developing that was really hard to do. Mm -hmm. And so you felt like you got some of that in the Ship It course, or that, or that you would get some of that in the Ship It course. Yes. So let's talk about the workload for Ship It, because it's by no means an easy course. How did you feel about the workload? Well, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit uh, large. Yeah. But I think it's important. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was full-time mm -hmm. on this initiative. I'm still full-time in it. And I just wanted to work smarter. Mm -hmm and really get feedback um, from people that were indeed involved with me and they were my support team. Mm -hmm. And I felt that I really get that, got that. So let's talk about feedback, because a lot of times people get feedback and they're not really sure what to do with it, or maybe they can't handle the critical feedback. How did you feel about the feedback in the course? Yeah, I thought it was very, very good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was very professional. I thought you guys really looked into the details of the materials that we were doing. So it wasn't just a 
superficial feedback. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was very surprised when I had a homework that was 20 pages and you read (laughs) all the 20 pages and you provided feedback on that. That's exactly what I needed. I needed somebody to work with me Mm -hmm. and to be as involved in my idea as I felt all the the mentors were in Mm -hmm. the program. So what do you feel like you got out of the course ultimately? Well, I... I mean, I, I really think I, I got a, a great product. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to navigate through this whole maze of different interviews and um, different ideas and just have a very clear path on what needed to be developed. Mm-hmm. Um, I did develop the product. Yeah. I uh, was able to ship it. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I don't think I would have done that without these classes. Oh, that's great to hear. Thank you. Yeah. Were there ever points in the course where you felt stuck or that you couldn't make progress? Well, actually, I felt very stuck before um, when I had to build a landing page. Um, I just thought, okay, I can just copy a format from somewhere else and just use it. And it was just very difficult figuring out uh, the right picture, the right format, and really had to think about Mm -hmm. the whole landing page. When you were on your own? When I was on my own, yes. And And then how did it change in the course? Well, in the course, we had a whole class. I think it was a whole week of yeah. landing pages and very gruesome feedback from everybody. And uh, we were able to work different iterations of that landing page and just go through all the different problem points that were in it. Last question for you. I know there's probably some people out there who are on the fence about taking Ship It. Why would you recommend that they take the course? Well, because it's a course that really helps you in execution. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody says on a startup, you know, 90% of it is the execution. Mm -hmm. And this is really true. And it's it's also a course that helps you go faster in the right direction. Uh, I don't think it's enough to just read books or take classes where people are not involved. This is a class where your mentors Mm -hmm. are involved with you in the greedy needy of your product. And that will help you to really get it out. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Maria, and I wish you a lot of success. Thank you. Thanks you. That's it for this video. Feel free to check out more students like Maria in the links below to see how they shipped their ideas.